16代目のクラウン日本の歴史に重ね合わせればそれは明治維新ですご覧ください新しい時代の幕開けです Toyota's venture into hydrogen powered engines is revving up the automotive world. But can this innovative approach truly steer us away from traditional fuel and electric vehicles? Let's find out. This engine is a twist on the classic running on hydrogen instead of gasoline. But here's where it gets juicy Toyota's been a big name in car innovation for ages. Remember the Prius? It wasn't just another car, it was the poster child for hybrids, sparking a revolution that paved the way for the electric frenzy we see today. Despite their electric venture with the BZ4X, Toyota's CEO, Akio Toyota, Toyota, plays it cool, hinting they're not putting all their eggs in the electric basket. He's not totally sold on EVs taking over the world just yet. Toyota is spearheading the movement with its hydrogen cell-powered cars. Also known as fuel cell electric vehicles, FCEs, cars powered by hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe. It sounds like something out of a science fiction novel, doesn't it? But it's real, and Toyota's leading the charge. FCEVs are like the silent heroes of the automotive world, offering a cleaner alternative to traditional EVs, especially during production. They sidestep the heavy lithium demand typical of electric vehicle batteries, making them a greener choice right out of the gate. Plus, they're practically whisper quiet on the road and emit nothing but water. The Toyota Mirai, launched back in 2014, was more than just a new car, it was a signal to the world that Toyota meant serious business about green technology. Initially aimed at markets like Japan and California, its success was so overwhelming that a second gen model hit the global streets in 2020. Even celebrities like James May couldn't resist getting behind the wheel. But wait, there's more. Toyota has taken another revolutionary step by adapting their iconic 1.6 turbocharged three cylinder engines, the heartbeat of the Corolla GR and Yaris GR, to run on hydrogen. Yes, you read that right. The same thrilling ride now with an eco friendly twist. While Toyota forges ahead, other automotive giants aren't far behind, with companies like Honda, Hyundai, Volkswagen, BMW, and Mercedes all throwing their hats into the hydrogen ring. It's a veritable hydrogen highway out there. Well, now Toyota and Yamaha have ignited a collaboration that's fueling excitement across the auto industry with their innovative hydrogen powered 5.0 liter V8 engine. This isn't your typical engine makeover, it's a leap into the future, transforming the classic V8 power we know and love into something that's not only eco friendly but also maintains that thrilling performance. The same pulsing heart from the Lexus RCF, now with a green twist. Instead of gulping down gasoline, this engine sips hydrogen, offering a cleaner ride without sacrificing the grunt we crave. It dishes out an impressive 335 kW of power and 540 Nm of torque. Sure, it's a tad less potent than its petrol counterpart, but it compensates with extra torque, making for a smooth, powerful drive. Yamaha has been busy tweaking and tuning, adjusting everything from injectors to intake manifolds, ensuring this engine is perfectly primed for hydrogen fuel. And here's a unique twist the engine's harmony isn't just about power, it sings a high frequency tune thanks to its special 8 into 1 exhaust manifold. Imagine the roar of a V8 combined with a unique sonic signature that's music to any gearhead's ears. The journey to this point kicked off back in November 2021, with a pact between industry giants like Kawasaki, Subaru, Toyota, Mazda, and Yamaha. They're not just tinkering with engines, they're on a mission to explore new, greener fuel alternatives for the engines we know and love. Yamaha Motors president, Yoshihiro Hidaka, emphasized their commitment to this cause. Envisioning a future where internal combustion engines don't just survive but thrive in a carbon neutral world. Yamaha's foray into hydrogen engines isn't a sudden whim, it's been a five year journey of exploration and innovation. They offer a driving experience that's both engaging and approachable without relying on complex electronic aids. It's a pioneering move in the industry, signaling a shift towards sustainability while preserving the exhilaration of driving. As Yamaha aims for total carbon neutrality by 2050, this engine represents a crucial step on that journey. It's a daring experiment, blending tradition with innovation, and it could pave the way for a new era of automotive engineering. Just like cars running on compressed natural gas, this hydrogen powered engine keeps its cool, or rather, its hydrogen in a super sturdy tank. Why the extra beefiness? Well, hydrogen is no ordinary gas, it's flammable and needs to be kept under wraps securely, hence the need for what's essentially an armored tank. The inner workings of the engine have been beefed up too. We're talking about hardened valves, tougher valve seats, and fuel injections tailored for gas. It's like the engine hit the gym and bulked up to handle the new type of fuel. This isn't your standard tune up, it's a full on upgrade to handle the unique demands of hydrogen fuel. Now, the kicker when it comes to emissions, this engine's clean as a whistle, no CO2 emissions here. Plus, it packs a punch similar to its gasoline guzzling cousins in terms of horsepower. And if waiting hours for an EV to charge sounds like a snooze fest, here's a game changer the new Yaris GRH2 refuels. In just about 1.5 minutes. Yes, you read that right. It's a pit stop so quick you might miss it if you blink. So, is the road ahead all about hydrogen powered IC engines? 
They've got the speed, the strength, and the eco-friendly badge. Could they make EVs and FCEVs a thing of the past? Well, they certainly have a shot, boasting practical perks like faster refueling times and impressive ranges. Toyota have even teamed up with Yamaha to craft a roaring 5.0-litre V8, all fueled by hydrogen. Imagine that. But how does it tick, you ask? Surprisingly, it sticks to the old-school ways, much like cars that guzzle compressed natural gas instead of traditional petrous. Here's where it gets beefy these engines need to be tough. We're talking about a tank that's built like a fortress to safely store the highly flammable hydrogen. The engine itself, it's beefed up with hardened valves, robust valve seats, and fuel injectors tailored for gas all to handle the extra pressure without breaking a sweat. Now, these hydrogen engines match the muscle of their fossil-fueled cousins, but with a big fat zero in the CO2 emissions department. And when it comes to filling up, say goodbye to the dreaded wait at the charging station. These beauties juice up in just about 1.5 minutes. But there's more to the story. These vehicles are like the beloved toys you could fix with just a wrench and some elbow grease, not gadgets that are tossed out at the first sign of trouble. They're crafted from the get-go to be more environmentally friendly, skipping the thirst for scarce resources needed by their fossil-fueled and battery-powered counterparts. And hold your horses, because the cost to refill them might just plummet once we crack the code on mass-producing hydrogen efficiently. Plus, for those who live for the roar of an engine, these cars don't disappoint. They belt out a symphony that could give any petrol engine a run for its money just wait until you hear that V8 hum. Before Toyota took the hydrogen stage, BMW had its moment in the hydrogen spotlight with the BMW 750HL in 2002, followed by the Hydrogen 7 in 2005. But as trailblazing as they were, these cars came with their own set of challenges, many of which are still around in today's hydrogen internal combustion engine vehicles. Let's talk about hydrogen's fiery temperament. It's not just flammable, it's like the mood swings of the chemical world going from calm to explosive in no time. This makes safety a major talking point. Then there's the whole saga of getting hydrogen ready for action. It's like prepping a diva for the stage, tough to process and even tougher to store. But wait, there's a plot twist while these engines cut out the dreaded CO2 emissions. They have a knack for cranking out nitrous oxide, another naughty pollutant, thanks to their high combustion temperatures. The workaround? More air. But more air means less oomph, leading to less powerful engines that need to bulk up just to deliver the power we crave, translating into, ironically, a thirstier beast. The financials aren't exactly cheering from the sidelines either. Getting hydrogen into these engines is pricier than traditional fuel, and building these fortified engines costs a pretty penny more than their conventional counterparts. Currently, the shining beacon of hope for hydrogen engines seems to be pairing them with hybrids, cutting down those nitrous oxide emissions and giving fuel economy a leg up. As Toyota and Yamaha join forces to engineer a hydrogen-powered future, questions linger. Is this the environmental and performance solution we've been waiting for, or are there roadblocks ahead? What are your thoughts on the potential of hydrogen in reshaping our driving experience? Share your views and comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights and updates.